sometimes you don't even know what you're saying, but talk with confidence. If I had the opportunity to do IUD, I'll actually do it. There are people you'll be around and you feel intimidated. So I'm not against masturbation, I'm not against self-pleasure whatsoever with, with toys or anything. It means of protecting yourself from having unwanted kids. Would you let your boyfriend keep female friends? N O no. If this is 2021, shoot your shot. Shoot it! And whoever the shot catches, it takes the person. <laughs> Jane here and thank you so much for stopping by I hope you find it fun here I hope you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet um, I'm just gonna let you do a tryout today guys I'm going to let you watch three or four videos of mine and if you don't find it educative entertaining inspiring you are free to not subscribe but if you do come on girl what's up so guys today's video is going to be a girl talk normally when I do these girl talks I love to do my makeup you know get ready with me but guys i am feeling a bit chill today i'm so excited i'm so happy and honestly i don't know why i don't know why i feel like this but i just felt like you know what i should just talk to you guys i do this girl talk so you guys always love it you guys leave comments send me dms you know second questions and here and there and i respond so sometimes on instagram i do put out all these ask me question tags and anytime I put that out, I get certain questions and I kind of get very sensitive to answer them and I don't know why, honestly. I don't know why I feel that way and sometimes I skip those questions and I'm like, you know what, on a good day, I would answer these questions. But as a content creator, sometimes you're looking for content and you don't know what to do. So I tell her that I'm going to pick out some of those questions and trash them once and for all. So these are questions that ladies have always asked me when it comes to self-pleasure when it comes to relationship when it comes to body confidence and all of those things so i'm going to you know trash them right now i just took out my time to set out points that i want to touch up in this video so it's not exactly how the questions came in would you move to a guy you like or wait for him to move to you so for me to answer this question, I would say this is 2021. Shoot your shot, okay? Shoot it, and whoever the shot catches, it takes the person, okay? Where I would not shoot my shot is if I see the person is in a happy relationship. I do not want to be a relationship breaker whatsoever. I will definitely shoot my shot if I know that he's single. This is 2021. Sometimes these boys don't get the message. You might do all you do just so he will notice you. He might not notice so sometimes just open your mouth and tell them oh i like you and this is how i feel about you i don't know if you feel sane but if you don't it i don't know how you want to handle the child but for me i'll say it's fine like it's fine someone else will come by um except you know that you really really like the person you can really go hard and before you know it, the person is also you know falling on the right path with you and it might lead to something so i would just say this is 2021 shoot your shot don't hold up because sometimes these men don't see these things okay they don't sis so just say how it is say how you're feeling make sure that he knows that you like him and yeah that's it that, 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 that's what i'll say and most times you might not necessarily have to be short maybe you know his love languages then just go with the flow of his love languages and gradually he'll be like oh this girl does this for me this girl does this for me and then uh, for you know the cat is in the bag <laughs> how would you handle a situation where your boyfriend controls what you post on instagram anyways first things first no guy's gonna hold me like you're not going to tell me what to post and what not to post i'm sorry it's my page it's my page i am of legal age i'm an adult so i know what i want to post i feel like that's manipulative i'm sorry i need to grab a drink But I genuinely feel that that's manipulative because why the hell would you want to control what I post on Instagram or on any other social platform? You can only caution me. Maybe you feel like there's just so much nudity going on, which is something I won't really do. But if you feel like there's so much nudity going on, yes, you can tell me, oh babe, this thing you're doing, I'm not, 
I, it doesn't sit right with me and stuff like that but if I'm not and I'm you know dressed modest and what I'm doing there's nothing so special I'm sorry you can't control it except girl maybe you're doing something that your man doesn't like or he feels is not of good morals then I would say you should look into it but if not if you feel like you're good what you're doing is right then just ignore that's what I'll say or talk to him about it let him know you're an adult you have every right to post whatever you want to post would you let your boyfriend keep female friends and oh no no not in my house it's not gonna happen <laughs> uh, see he had friends before he found you okay he can have female friends but there should be boundaries that's why he could hang out with his female friends if he wants to but always keep that boundary keep it on 100 like he should be on guard don't try and lose guard okay some of these girls don't even know that this guy is fine until he starts dating and then they realize that oh this my friend used to be fine and next thing I try to put things in his head so sometimes I don't really approve of the whole oh my boyfriend you know keep female friends I'm not a fan how do you put up body confidence as a plus size girl because I'm really struggling with this so guys I've done a video on my body confidence how I overcame that I'm still struggling with certain things like big arms, big tummy. It's not a business, okay? It is nobody's business. It's how you carry yourself that matters. And that's period. Sometimes I feel very inferior and I feel like I'm not worth it. I feel like I'm not up to standard and I go through so much thinking about these things. I worry a lot and this really goes into my relationship, work and school and so many other things. Fam hello this is also from the same person i think you are struggling with self-esteem i feel that everybody struggles with that i do at times there are people you'll be around and you feel intimidated you feel like oh i'm not beautiful i'm not of standard i feel that way sometimes sometimes there are people that i talk to and they'll make certain comments and i feel like oh at this stage i should be at this point in my life but i'm not and that's why this person is talking to me this way if i had this i would be able to you know i feel like that most times but the truth is own your shit okay own it all right sometimes you don't even know what you're saying but talk with confidence talk with confidence that way the person will be like oh okay you know you might be talking bullshit but own that confidence because if there's no confidence then the person is not going to take it seriously honestly i used to struggle with that a lot even last year you know this year i think sometimes i complain with my friends but just confidence is all i would say own your shit if you have to level up level up what is it that is making you feel down girl as i'm filming this video today it's not because i want to film it it's not because oh i I have I've had this content in my head stuck up in my head written down in my YouTube book everything but the truth is I didn't plan to film this video today I was feeling so down I was feeling like you know you're below standard that's how I felt I felt like that today I you know what I wore makeup I got my hair done I put on a cool a very cool dress and I'm feeling like a bitch okay I'm feeling like a babe today I got my nails done and I'm like you know what Nobody gonna tell me anything and obviously this makeup is not about to waste so we are filming the video Okay, I feel like for me looking good boosts my confidence, my energy, everything When I when I look good, when I look beautiful, I'm a whole different person Okay, at this point so I'll be having conversations in my head like Girl, you are fine Girl, look good That's what I'm going to say and try and make sure that you feel like you're up to standard Boost that confidence and don't let anybody make you feel bad. Yes, you might not be where you want to be. Some people's journey is like snail, but you will definitely get there at the end of the day. That's all I'm going to tell you. Do you think single ladies should get IVs, slash contraceptives? Fam, if I had the opportunity to do IUD, I'll actually do it. If I'm sexually active, why not? I don't have anything against it. The means of protecting yourself from having unwanted kids. So if you have to get the IUD, get it as for me i would definitely get it but also consider the side effect because i've seen people where they talk about their id experience most of them start having menstrual cramps 
that they didn't used to have before they start having you know heavy periods that they didn't used to have before so you have to consider all of those things and yeah if you do it and after three four months you're comfortable with the outcome you know your body will definitely change a little bit for a while certain things will change but if you're good with it then I would suggest that you just stick with it. Should age gap matter in relationships? For me, no, it doesn't matter for me. I mean, I've been with older people and sometimes it's one of my best relationships because it's like they, there's this, you are you, do you, you know, in the whole thing. So I think age shouldn't really matter when it comes to relationship at all. Yeah. But I'm not a fan of doing younger people, Sha. Just be older than me. How long should you stay before opening the cookie? If it's same day, if it's even this minute to do it, that's what I'm going to say. Do you? Who wants to be with you? Be with you. It's not about when I open cookie, when I not open cookie. Just do what you want to do. At the end of the day, you will still. Who wants to be with you? Will be with you. So it's not about oh if you like wait three months if you like wait one month if you like make one week if you like make wait one year if the person wants to still fuck you up he's gonna fuck you up but if he wants to be with you he'll still be with you so don't let that get into your head just do you now when it comes to masturbation and self pleasure I would say it's an utmost way of discovering yourself guys you begin to rain if you hear any sound please just ignore it is one way for you to know yourself for you and your partner to discover yourself. For you to know if you like certain things you like about your body, certain things your body responds to. So your partner would not know that, but I feel like if you give yourself self-pleasure or masturbation like it's called, it's like you get to figure out what you actually like and what you don't like. So I'm not against masturbation, I'm not against self-pleasure whatsoever with, with toys or anything. It is a way of discovering yourself and finding out what makes you happy. And if along the line, you feel good about it about certain things you now relate those things to your partner so you guys can put it in practice and bring it into your intimacy so that way yeah i just i just i just feel like that's a way of discovering yourself basically it's not that deep as you guys think it is but on the spiritual hand so kuto is is a bad thing sha if you're from if you're an african you know what i'm talking about some people say it's a bad thing to masturbate but for me, I just think it's a way of discovering yourself. It's only now when you make it a habit of you masturbating like, you know, you're obsessed or you are addicted to it. That's when I'll now say, oh, it's now, it's now an issue. Do you get? But if you do it just to discover yourself, then it's fine. Don't come for me. Have you ever squiffed before? When the person sent this question, to be very honest, I did not know what the person meant by squiffed. Cause I was like, mm, okay, I just skipped it. Cause when I'm answering some of these questions, sometimes I see questions if I don't know the, what the word means, I will just skip it so that later I can go back there. Maybe in an action, I'll just include this. But for this particular one, I had to Google what squiff means, and just like basically that thing that sounds like fart, like when you're having sex or something. Yeah, that you feel like oh you farted or whatnot. So yeah. Um, I have feel like you're farting. That's not fart. They just call it squiff. Honestly, I had to Google about this. Do you think it's a good idea to introduce sex toys to your partner, and what and what will be your reaction if they ever decline sex toys in your intimacy? Hmm. This is by juicy. I think for sex toys, I have to know the kind of partner I have. Sometimes it's just to spice things off, you know, here and there. But if he is not open to it, I'm sorry, I will not introduce it. But sex toys is personally, I will not say it's something I like. Okay, I I, I own some, but I will not say it's something that I actually, um, I will say I like. Okay, it was just out of fantasies and shit that I got it. So um, if he's not comfortable with it, then I'm going to trash it and move on. But yeah. I would just let him know things that I would mean my sex toy would do to me. I'll probably just tell him, Oh, my sex toy does this to me. Please, I want you to um, implement this when it comes to our intimacy, make me feel good. And just basically have a dialogue, have a conversation with him and know what he likes, what he prefers. And 
yeah that's it for that minute advice so guys that's the last thing i'm going to be talking about and yeah it's just all about girl talk okay i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i hope you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're still here and if you want more of this type of videos let me know um you can either leave a comment some people might not want to drop comments about these things because i see some of you watch it watch this type of videos on my channel and you come and comment in my dm so it's is absolutely fine please give me video ideas you guys want to see guys i am literally struggling with consistency and content blog but help your girl out with video suggestions and yeah i'll come through with it so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys